Nine inch circulars are useful if you don't like working with double pointed needles, if you have a small area that you're trying to work in the round, or if you just need to use a needle that may fit a little better in your bag. If you're taking a sock with you on a trip, it's a lot easier to put it on a nine inch circular than it is to try and maintain a set of double pointed needles. If you're working at the brim of a hat, you can usually work a brim of a hat with a 16, but as you get up to the crown, you may want to work double pointed. So instead you could use one or two, depending upon what point you are in the crown, of these nine inch circular needles. The other advantage of the nine inch circulars is they don't break like double pointed can break. So when you're picking a double pointed needle or when you're picking a needle like these, which are circular, you always want to consider the material, the construction, and you want to consider how they feel with the yarn you're using. So for example, these Knitter's Pride Zing are relatively inexpensive. They're pressed together as are many of the Knitter Pride fixed length circulars. They do not twist. So it's a good basic needle. It is metal. Um, it comes in different colors for different sizes, so it's easier to identify which is which. Then we have the clovers. Notice how the clover has this little kink in it here. So you can get a little tighter circle than you can with the straight ones, the zings. But the thing with the clovers is that because they put this little kink in here, and the way they've done this join between the fitting and the needle, it's a little clunky. So when you're using the clover, you don't have all that much room to actually work your stitches and slide your stitches onto the needle with good tension. So these are not the ones I would recommend for that reason. It's better to have a longer shaft on the needle so that when you're working in the round, you actually can slide your stitches onto the shaft of the needle to guarantee yourself a better experience with the tension. So I like these. These are available from Likey or Luca, depending upon your pronunciation preferences. It has the same very versatile tip as the rest of their line. It has a nice transition between the cable and the fitting and the shaft of the actual needle. It's nice and smooth. So when you're picking a needle, consider these things and find the one that makes a good fit for you. The other thing to consider is what are you going to be knitting with them? Because there are going to be cases where it might be easier to use a metal needle and there may be circumstances where you actually do want these smaller, tighter control. You're just going to work at the tips maybe, and the tension isn't all that important. So maybe these smaller ones will suffice. But when the tension is important, I always suggest that you go with the needle that is the most comfortable to use. And for me and many of my students, they found that these are the better ones to use because of the length of the shaft. They're easier to hold in the hands, they're wood, they're nice and comfortable to use. And thus far, we've all had very good luck, they haven't broken. Uh, I cannot say the same for the Knitter's Pride and the Clover. Some of those have broken on us in the past. So if I were going to buy more, I would definitely continue to buy the Likey or Luca needles. Hope this helped you out and keep your questions coming.